All right, welcome to episode six of the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED Grow Test. And I'm gonna talk about a couple of things in this video, a little bit on the lights, a little bit on the plant growth and roots, um, and also the ventilation. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about here is the ventilation. Um, as you can see on both sides of this tent, I have little windows. These are screened windows, one there, one there. And when I have this door closed on this tent, it basically creates a suction uh, pressure differential because the fan that is up there, which is a duct fan, it's actually a duct fan I scrapped out of a, I think an old oven, um, that sucks all the air out and the air comes in through these vents and it blows right on the plants and that's kind of creating the, uh, the wiggling of the plants that helps keep the stem strengthened. Um, the kind of same kind of stuff you'd, that would happen outside. So I don't have any fans sitting on here blowing, circulating, I just have that going on. Um, that to me is actually a really good way to do it because uh, you're getting even distribution of air movement on both sides. So next thing I wanna talk about, if you're newcomers to this uh, video series, um, you can see the one light is lower than the other and that is because these are lensed LEDs and these are diffused LEDs. So there's no lenses on this, and naturally, in order to get the same light at the plant canopy, that's gonna to have to be lower. Because right now I have the veg cycle at 100% on the dimmer for the max bloom, and I matched the wattage that that's using, which is 108 watts. So both of these are consuming 108 watts from the wall, and they are matched as far as uh, the par uh, reading at the plant canopy with the meter. So, Things are coming along nice. So now we're going to take a look at the plant growth. And if you haven't noticed already, I'm starting to notice very well here that it's ever since I clipped out the uh, the other seedlings that were growing around there, now I have three plants each, I can totally see that the white light, these plants are growing bigger. Uh, there's, there's more growth happening with this than there is over on this side. I'll give you a closer look here. You can see here there's more leaves coming out and they're uh, a little bit taller than the ones on the left side and it's kind of what they look like from this level here take a look at the ones on the left Got less leaves they're not as tall though the height can't really be used because as I've said before this is because you have an excess of blue light that's restricting vertical growth um, and it's also looking to me like the stems are a little bit thinner. This is the same kind of results I've seen in the past where I've grown uh, plants under white light versus red, blue, white combinations or other colors. So now we're going to take a look and see if the roots are coming out. This is very important to me uh, comparing to last tests I've done. So we'll take out the net pot. And you see there's one, one side root coming out there. That's it on this one. Just one right in the side. Put that back in. And we'll check the one on the left. Oop. See if there's any roots coming out here. There is no roots coming out on this side yet. Now I did check yesterday on both of these and there was no roots coming out on this side either. So right off the bat, what we're gonna be taking a look at through this test is taking a look at the root growth because um, right at the beginning, if you're seeing more root growth on the white light versus the red, blue, colorful one, uh, the Max Bloom, then obviously the white light's doing better. And this is also why I did not trim it down to one plant each. I started off with about 14 seedlings each and then I trimmed it down to three uh, the last episode because it's always power by numbers. If I'm not doing clones, it's always power by numbers. So you, if you're seeing the same thing on both sides across three different plants, then the chances are that your observations are the correct ones. So that's about it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed episode six here. We'll see you in episode seven. Thanks for watching.